Hello everyone, my name is Ricky and I will explain to you how to use a centrifuge. And here we use a hectic centrifuge EBA12. So the first is we need to plug the power cord. And then we turn on the centrifuge itself. When it turn on, the display will look like this. So there's uh, many controls and display element. The first one is the selector for selecting individual. There's an arrow up and down button to change the value. There's a start button, there's a stop button, the RCF button, the impulse button, and there's three indicators. And there's the display to show the RPM and the minute. So uh, I will explain to you on control and display element. So the first thing we have this entry field. This is selector key for selecting individual parameters for numerical input. It will display some symbol in the display, and then you can change the value by pressing the arrow key. There's up and down button to increase and decrease the value. Then there's the control field, there's impulse, start, stop, and RCF. The start is for start the centrifuge, and then uh, there's a stop button for stopping the centrifuge. There's also the RCF button, there's RCF button is for selecting between RPM or an RCF menu. So the chosen menu is confirmed by the cursor. Then the impulse. The impulse is for a relative centrifugal force or the RCF. It will immediately spin the centrifuge uh, with the predetermined speed. Then we have the three indicators. There's a three symbol with an LED. So the first one is the balance error, the, and if this LED is lit, then the rotor must be loaded evenly. Then there's a rotation indicator. If this rotation indicator is lit after the start button, then it will remain lit until the rotor comes to raise. So it means the satisfactory start has started the spinning so there's the last one is uh, the lead indicator the, when this indicator is lead it means that the lead can be open and the centrifuge is ready for operation uh, this this last indicator is will lead after the centrifuge is Close and lock. So after we set the RPM and the time, we can open the lid by turning the knob in front. Here we use the 14,000 RPM with 3 minute time and there's a rotor in it. We put the sample inside the rotors. And it need to be balanced face to face, put it face to face with the same volume. If there are four centrifuges, put it like this. So both tube is face to face, put it face to face, but you can also put the three sample. But it needs to be balanced. Right here. Let's put just for symbol. Then close the lid. Turn the knob. So in here we have set the RPM for fourteen thousand for five minutes. We press start. Then the indicator of the lid will off. The beside 
beside it will be the indicator that is indicate the uh, the rotor is running the rotor is spinning so we wait after five minutes the centrifuge will stop and the indicator of the lid will be turned on this means you can open the lid but let's turn the, the knob then open the lid then we can take the sample And after that, don't forget to close the lid again. Turn the knob. And then turn off the sensor fuse. Oh uh, yeah, also don't forget to pull the cord. Well, that's pretty much all of it. I hope this video can help you to understand how to use the sensor fuse. My name is Rick. Peace out.